Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Requiem News video, and of course, I just want to say one thing. Ugh, you better like this god dang video right now, alright? I'M NOT PLAYING ANYMORE! And of course, on top of that, you better use Code Skull. I really do appreciate it. I basically earn 7.5% of whatever you spend inside the game, and it really does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much, and of course, people, let's get inside today's video. But as you guys can see right behind me, we got a new weekly. We now have this little section in our watch titled Defaulted Creatures, which I'm assuming is this. You guys can also see we got new discounted offers inside our watch as well, so be sure to take advantage of that, and be sure to let me know if you guys are copying anything here. To top that off though, we had actually received our weekly rotation, and this is how it looks like. We got a little Griffith buddy. What should we name this fool? I, I, I don't know what we should name him. People were saying Groy, people were saying Steve. I, I'm fine with either. As you guys can see, we have some items here inside our weekly shop. This seems to be the only new items though, which are these science ISO helmets and these black Pegasus wings. Kumat also released new white wings as well, so as you guys can see with every set they have wings and stuff like that. We have this little green set of wings, we have this little red set of wings, we have this black set, white set, and this uh, yellow set. Werewolf is in love with this, he already posted about it and everything, I'm so glad he got him. But as you guys can see, inside our rec center shop we have this, it's just normal items and stuff, nothing too special. And as you guys can see, inside the board, we have a new featured creator called Mama Lens. A real life mom, that's so cool. There's her Instagram, their YouTube, and be sure to let me know what you guys think. Now in today's video, we have a bunch of updates to talk about, but most notably, we actually have some contest winners now. If you guys don't remember, Reckham had their art contest, and they finally revealed who won inside that contest. In a announcement, they had said art contest winners, and that's a wrap. Art contest is officially finished, and we've been blown away by everyone who participated and made the event so special. If you had won, be sure to check your events tab for an invite to join our live stream happening this Saturday, June 29th at 12 p.m. PST. If you guys want to check out the actual room where they have the art show and stuff like that, I will have the rec.net link down inside the description below. Now to top this off, Requiem had finally released their AMA, and it was actually Gribbly and Corbin's this time. If you guys are interested on what happened inside that AMA, I will have the link to the AMA, but I do have a few things I want to include inside my video, of course. Now, he had talked about the next Requiem original, and here's the clip. Can you say anything about the next RRO? Hoping you don't give us a cryptic answer in something new. Uh, <laughs> well, so what can I say about the next RRO? Here's what I can say. There is going to be a next RRO. The wait won't be as long as it has been between previous RROs. Uh, I will say the work is well underway on the next one. It's looking very, very cool. I'm very excited about it. I'm not going to say anything more than that. I haven't talked to the team about it. They would be mad at me if I leaked anything. But I think it's super neat, and uh, I think you'll love it. Welcome back, but we're not done. Gribbly had also talked about a new quest as well, and of course, here's that clip. Next question is, the Rec Room community has been eagerly anticipating a new quest. Could you please share if yeah. there are any plans for a new quest anytime soon? I think I've said this publicly before. We will make another quest. At some point, we will make it. Anytime soon? No. It's not going to be soon. Uh, we will make it when we're ready. And what ready means is when we like so just like mlm my little monsters we just made with the creator facing tools we made it with studio and with circuits and uh, all the and the maker pen when we can make a quest that is as good or better than the old quests that we've made using the creator tools we will make a new quest and just for a little bonus if you guys are interested in dark mode and stuff like that here's what Gribbly said about that Next question, uh, it's a three part question. Uh, do you guys plan to add a dark mode to the watch or make it easier to use in any way? Uh, that's two questions. Dark mode, I don't know. I know we've dabbled with it in the past. I don't know what the team's plans are right now because I think the much bigger problem and focus is the second part of the question, which is, are we gonna make it work better? Like, man, this new menu system that I've been talking about for years, um, and that, you know, I know we've had a lot of complaints with over the years. I'm not happy with the performance of it. It's not working as well as we need it to. Uh, we continue to hammer on it to make it better. So I think make it work better. Yes, dark mode, no idea. Now, Rekum also had a video talking about the dorm room update, and it's with Harry Manlegs. Stickly inside this little video, Harry Manlegs just goes over all the features and cool things that you can do with customizing your dorm inside of Rec Room. And of course, if you guys are interested in that, I would definitely give it a watch. Link in the description. Now, of course, it's been a minute since I've done this for the channel, but it's time for our meme of the week. Now, I picked and choose. I had a lot of submissions this week. I'm very glad for everyone who decided to support and, you know, participate inside meme of the week, but it was was actually just from a fellow YouTuber named Voix who actually got in. Voix on the Requiem Discord server had made this AI video of the My Little Monster, you know, teaser picture. And it is horrifying. I'll let it roll now.
Of course, I hope I didn't scar you too bad. Let's continue on with the video. Talking about the custom dorm room and stuff like that, we had actually gotten some few dorm updates. Starting us off first, we have this new little customized logo for our customized button on our mirror now. Be sure to let me know if you guys have noticed this as well. And to top that off, full body avatars now have face and body shapes. We have different types of builds for each single, you know, full body avatar. And for our actual, you know, head, we have a different build for that as well. So super cute, I'm glad they finally added this for full body avatars, and of course, just one of the features we finally unlocked. Can't wait till we can, you know, change more specific stuff about our character, but of course, we'll just have to wait and see until they implement that. We had received a new research lab survey, if you guys are interested, and Rec Room had said, Research Lab has a new survey about your experiences playing Rec Room. It'll take about 5-6 to six minutes, and it's available until Sunday, July 7th, and your reward will be an orange survey bubbly. So when it also brought it to my attention that we now have a little results page for Hot Picks, and I don't really know if this is a totally new feature or not, but I have never seen, you know, the results for hot picks on an actual UI. So I thought it was pretty interesting, and of course, that's how it looks, and be sure to let me know if you guys have seen it before. I come bearing more news, but it is like, uh, developer news, if that makes sense. Basically, people inside the Recom Discord or Reddit or, you know, whoever people who decide to interact with Recom developers ask some questions based on interest you may also have. So that's basically what this portion of the video is about. Sometimes they just have messages talking about development or updates to their development, and it really is helpful to keep track about things that are going on in the game. When a player was asking about height and width customization for full body avatars, Joan Animation, a Recom developer, had said height adjustment is very different to implement than reshaping slash thickness sliders for body shapes. We will work on those separately. Jared Animation also had this long message saying, I have a weekend behind the scenes look. For the purposes of the discussion, here are different body shapes for Bean, left, and full body avatar right. And he had a little gif down there, which you guys will see soon. But it basically just showed all the body shapes and stuff like that. Anyways, continuing on. One key thing I want to point out is that when I designed the body shapes for full body avatars, I did not aim for a one of one copy of the Bean avatar. The goal was to get a similar feel, but lean into specific needs of a full body versus the Bean. For instance, if I take the Bean apple shape and apply it directly to full body avatar, it would require making the hips oddly narrow, so I went for what was more comfortably heavy set or rounded base body shape instead of copying the bean. Because our avatar is simplified and stylized, I wanted to see how far I could push the difference between triangle mask and hourglass femme shapes. This is as far as they intended to be though, so if you see outfits that are exaggerated beyond this, like what was pointed out with the shredder torso or the ice cream truck, that is unintended and something we can fix with a weight improvement pass. Definitely open to tweaking these base shapes, and keep in mind when we add advanced customization, you'll have greater control over different sections of the body to make things subtler and more exaggerated. Based on your preference, thanks for the feedback and pointing out the aspects that you care about in your avatars. Looking forward to continuing to collaborate with you all to make this the best it can be. I tried so hard and got so far. Oh, what's up guys? Um, good as time as any to, uh, tell you guys about my YouTube membership, uh. If you don't know already, I have a YouTube membership that works just like a Patreon. You give me some money every month, and I give you some perks every month. And if you're Calamari through Octopus, you get the perk of being shouted out in all of my videos. So, big, fat, stinky, poopy, smelly. Shout out to all my pookies, and these people include Ghastly, Garlic Red, Coley, It's Freddy RR, Tech Tutorial, Not the Pup, Dozer Blade, Cappy, BB, Burning Owl, Bucket Guy, Yo, Shaky, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69 and Box, David. And that's pretty much it. Of course, if you guys are a squidling, I appreciate your guys' support as well, and there's so many of you guys, I really do appreciate it. Anyways, though, that's pretty much it. Bye! When someone had asked if you have to model shirts for each body, um, she's talking about bean body and full body avatars, or if, is there some sort of script involved, Tune Animation had said this. Awesome, thanks for clarifying. With the classic bean, we use blend shapes for the body and face shapes. The upside to blend shapes is that the artist has exact control over every point of the model and how it looks in that shape. The downside is that these shapes are baked into the model and players can customize different parts to look the way they want. They're also much more expensive slash less the performant than bone based deformation. With full body avatar, we upgraded to bone based deformation when we add extra tweak bones that sit under primary bones and lets us move slash rotate slash scale these bones to shape the area that they influence. This allowed for better performance and unlocks advanced customization where we can let players control the thickness and shape of the avatar more precisely. It's definitely a trade off. Each has their pro and cons, but the bone based approach gives us the wins we were looking for to improve the avatar system over the coming years. 
blend shapes, we would have to literally open up and change the blend shape in every single outfit file. Circling back to your question now, whether a body shape looks good or bad on a full body avatar outfit is determined by 1. The way it was modeled, and 2. The quality of the weighting to the tweak bones that drive that shape. Now this same Reckon player had asked, how much FPS are you guys getting comparing the old beam bodies to the new beam bodies with bone based deformation? Yoda Animation said, ah, excellent question. We are looking at this right now. To get all the performance wins from full body avatars over to beans, here's a comparison of my work to make the blend shape driven classic bean look the same as the bone based upgraded bean we are working on now. I'm working hard to make them as identical to the classic bean as humanly possible. And he does confirm that this is the next dev blog for this week, so very interesting stuff here. And unfortunately, that's pretty much all our news for this actual Rec Room video. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts, and I will of course be looking at your guys' comments. If you guys want to see more Rec Room news, especially about a full body avatar developer vlog, I just made a video talking about that, and it's like 60 minutes long, so you might want to check it out. If you check it out, I really do appreciate it, but of course, people, be sure to subscribe to the video, like the channel, and I will catch you guys inside the next news video.